What's up, my babies? Um, this is Amanda with Soul Therapy Tarot. Okay, um, I am new to YouTube, so please go hit the like button, subscribe button. Um, it help me out a whole lot. Okay, um, this is for my Saggies mid month, April 2019. Okay, y'all, like, uh, I know I'm late. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I've had a lot of things going on this week, okay? And uh, so um, blame my mind, not my heart, okay? Um, but I feel really blessed and really loved right now. And uh, y'all just have no clue, <laughs> okay? Okay, so my Saggies, let's see what y'all have going on for April. 2019 mid month, okay. Please show me what's going on for my status. Thank you. Okay, so your overall energy is the five of swords. Okay, um, the five of swords is all about, um, conflict. Uh, vindictiveness, conflict at workplace, uh, backstabbing, gossip, some type of fight. Um, you could have made someone mad. Someone is out for revenge. Um, okay. They're telling you to check your ego. Okay. It's like, um, somebody said you, you could really be feeling like you the shit right now. They're telling you to check it. Okay, Sagi, check it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, let's see what my Sagis have going on. For the rest of April 2019. Ooh, my Sagis, what the fuck? What? <sighs> Lord have mercy. Mm. Okay, Sagis. Um... First of all, I want to tell you that you pulled the nine of wands twice, okay? So, that's two nines. So, something is definitely coming to an end, okay? It's definitely on its way. It's in the process of coming to an end, okay, Sagi? I don't know what it is. I don't know your life, boo, okay? It could be something as simple as... Um, Chit, your flowers quit growing. They died or something. Like, I don't know your life, boo. Okay, but something um, is definitely coming to an end. Now, you put the Queen of Pentacles here, okay? Um, that could talk about a new opportunity for growth, okay? Um, with something coming to an end, it's, it's definitely going to make you grow. Um, The, the King of Swords in Reverse is all about revenge also, my boos. I don't know what the fuck y'all got going on. Okay, I don't know if you're wanting revenge on somebody. I don't know if somebody done hurt you. I don't know what's going on. Um, I feel like um, it's definitely um, revenge within the relationship. Um, it could be work. I don't think so uh, because of the cards you pulled. Okay. Um, they're talking about fake love and happiness being around you, okay? And I feel like you know that, my Saggies. And maybe it's making you want that, um, revenge, okay? Um... Cause you pulled you pulled the page of cups in reverse right up under the ten of cups in reverse. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you your spread. Okay, your overall energy is the five of swords. Your spread is the queen of pentacles, the king of swords in reverse, the lovers, the nine of wands in reverse, the ten of cups in reverse, the five of cups, the nine of wands upright. 
um, the Page of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Cups. Okay, so this is definitely a love reading. Um, um, you definitely have something coming to an end. Okay, and I it. If you're the one that ends it, Saggy, um, it's definitely, um, it's definitely going to be because you felt the fakeness from the other person, okay? You felt the fake love. You, you know that their heart is somewhere else or their attention is somewhere else, that they're not really meaning what they say, okay? Um... you because of this you may feel like that you you need to uh defend yourself with your decision okay um you're definitely afraid of getting hurt but you're um i feel like you're gonna let it go let me get some clarifiers on you Sagi. <coughs> excuse me yeah, because you have the queen of cups and she's very intuitive. Okay? Very intuitive. Um, I feel like you see this fake love. You know this person doesn't love you the way you love them. And you gave them a lot. And it's making you vengeful. If it's not you, then it's the other person, Sagi. Okay? Maybe they feel like they gave you a lot. You walk away. And now they, you know got something that they don't like it they don't like it one fucking bit okay okay my babies get some clarifiers on my babies okay so you pulled the nine of cups okay and the nine of cups is this all wishes granted okay um they're telling you to go with the flow um, but they're also, it's also a card of meeting someone who is perfect for you, okay? Um, mm, you pulled a six of wands right beside it. Mm, you, you're with somebody who you thought was perfect for you, okay? And now you regret it. You fucking regret it. Mm. definitely moving on um but i see you regretting it because i don't this this isn't for all my saggies but um i feel like for at least one of my saggies out there um you done a honey jar on somebody somebody baby you did and because you done that spell uh, because you thought they were what you wanted okay you brought them to you you brought them to you and they came to you um but now i think um you're saying that that's not how shit goes okay you can't you can't i don't know why people do that shit like i, I don't like um i do the arts also but i do not do any type of spell work on anybody who has an influence over my life. Don't do it. That shit will come back and bite you in the fucking ass every fucking time. Okay, Saggy? Just remember that. Yeah, you're definitely questioning your life right now, okay? Um, doubts in the relationship. Um, and I see why. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you feel that fake love. You feel that fake attention. You know that this is... You know that you don't have this person's heart, Sagi. Okay, so if you brought this person to you um, with the honey jar because that's who you wanted. Or it, it didn't have to be a honey jar. You know, it could be any type of spell. 
um, you thought that this person was what you wanted, okay? And now that you see um, who they really are, um, maybe you got this person while they was in love with somebody else, okay? And the thing is, when you do a spell on someone who love with somebody else because you love them, then guess what, boo? They're going to come to you. I mean, they will, unless that other person has something on them. You know what I'm saying? Um, but they will come to you, but you'll regret it. It'll bite you in the ass every fucking time. Every time. Okay. Okay, my sages. Let me see what your lesson card is. My dog trying to get in the house, y'all. Okay, so your lesson card is honesty. It says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can't expect it from myself. Okay, so since this is your lesson card, okay, um, then you're not being completely honest um, with yourself um, about what's going on here, Sagi. Um, you see it. You see it. You feel it. You just don't want to believe it. Because you brought this person to you. They was in love with somebody else when you brought them, baby. They was in love with somebody else, okay? I don't know for... Uh, that's it, for at least one of my sages out there. I know it is. Okay? Uh, but for the rest of you, um, you know, they, they could be talking about... Um, spiritual growth. Uh, could be on hold. Um, you may be feeling like, you know, you just can't move. Um, like you're stuck, uh, but you're not. You know what I'm saying? Um, you definitely have somebody, um, more like a father figure to you. Somebody who is older than you, um, in your life right now. Okay. Um, or that was in your life that is or is going to... Or did turn their back on you. Okay. I'm going to say you can't be playing around with this shit now. Okay. You just can't. You want revenge and you want all this or you want all that. I'm going to tell you what's probably going to happen. The person you put that spell on is probably going to figure out that you put that fucking spell on them. Okay. And they going to come. They. Mm. They gonna try to get that ass, okay? Okay, so your blessing card is a blessing from your ancestors. So know that Saggy, your ancestors are looking over you, okay? Um, and will be blessing you. Um, if it's you that is having all these vengeful um, thoughts, my Saggies, um, I pray that you get them out your head. Um, revenge is never the key. I will tell you that. Take it from me. I had a huge, huge tower moment uh, about a year and a half ago um, that I really thought was going to break me. But it did not. Okay. And... Of course, you know, when shit like that happens, you think about revenge. You want that person to hurt the way that they hurt you. Best revenge is no revenge, boo. I'm telling you. Best revenge is no revenge. Because, and I will tell you this, it shows the level of maturity that you have, okay? Um, and that will always pique a person's interest, uh... You know, there are a few people out there that like the, for people to fight over them or whatever. But, um, why? Why? It's too many people out here for me to be fighting over you. <laughs> I bet the fuck I don't. Okay. They can have you. Because mm, if they, I'm going to put it to you like this. If they can entertain somebody else, baby, they was never yours. You know what I'm saying? And if... You winded up taking a person from somebody, my Saggy. Boo. How you got them is how you gonna lose them. I don't give a fuck what you think. You ain't special, boo. I, and I know I'm probably finna get a lot of slack because of this shit. And if it, this ain't, it, it, if it's not for my Saggy out here that's listening, that done this spell work and done all that, then this ain't for you, boo. Okay? This is not for you. 
okay? This is for the one that done the spell work, okay? Um, the one who wants to be vengeful. You brought this person to you, okay? While they was in love with somebody else. You finna catch hell. It's right here. You gonna catch it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just, you know, I don't, I don't sugarcoat shit. I don't, um, I, I read what my cards tell me is there. Okay, Sagis. Okay. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, blessed be, boo. And, um, y'all go hit the subscribe button, okay?